We move now on to Mexico and another incredible tale from the drug war there. The state that arrested a 14-year-old boy and accused him of working as a drug cartel hitman is now turning over his case to federal prosecutors. The head of a children's rights organization group points out that the teenager is innocent until proven guilty and that news groups should not have been allowed to take his picture after his capture. Our national desk editor, Nick Valencia, is joining me now here in the studio with this very disturbing story, Nick. So what is his status? The state authorities have turned him over to federal authorities. What's happening today? Well, right now, what we're hearing the latest release is that he's being questioned, he's being interrogated. And this is a very unique case. Federal prosecutors have never had to deal with a kid this young with these kinds of charges. Now he's accused of killing at least four people in this Beltran Leyva cartel. He worked for an extension of the Beltran Leyva cartel which operates within uh, the federal district, De F as it's known in Mexico. And this is a very ruthless cartel. You're seeing here the uh, uh, his uh, perp walk video. Now a lot of people are upset. You mentioned this, a human rights group. He is 14 years old and some people are making the case that he is an innocent uh, wrapped up in this violence. He said of course during his interrogation we're hearing that he was drugged during these hits. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what he was doing. And that's part of the allure Really. So we were talking a little bit before yeah, we got yeah. on set. That's that what I wanted to ask you. How does a child, I mean, he's still a child, a 14-year-old become a hitman, and he's accused of some very yeah. brutal that murders and beheadings. Yeah, well, all, all, all murders, of course, are, are grisly. Allegations. And allegations, of course. Uh, but we're told that he got wrapped up in this at 12 years old. You know, his sister as well is uh, known to have be a girlfriend of a drug trafficker mm -hmm. that may influence him. We don't know. We don't want to speculate. But he's saying that he was uh, wrapped up in this at 12 years old, recruited, offered drugs. And the allure here, this, this is a part of a grander issue here, Relitza. This is part of social decomposition that's happening in society. Narco traffickers having a pool of talent, so to speak, to choose from. The allure is there. These drug traffickers are seen as role models. They drive fancy cars. They, they roll with uh, beautiful women. Uh, you know, they have money. They have power. And, and like in a lot of areas that we're seeing, and this is probably why very he got wrapped up. Areas very with, poor with very rural areas. Very poor opportunities. Exactly. There's not a lot of opportunities to make this kind of money in a legitimate avenue. So, having said that, kids as young as 14 now turning to grisly violence. Now there's another wrinkle. It appears he claims that he is a U.S. citizen. This, this is another wrinkle. I spoke to the State Department earlier today. They told me that they're still trying to 